Hey, my name is Mike Acosta from BPM Supreme, and in this edition of Software Spotlight, we are taking a look at the latest 1.4 update from Serato Studio. Now, although this isn't a major update to Studio, there is one particular new feature Serato has added in that definitely made us excited here at BPM Supreme. So let's dive right in and take a look at what's new in version 1.4 of Serato Studio. Okay, so one of the first newest additions in 1.4 is that you now have the option to purchase Serato Studio for $199. In addition to the standard subscription offer, Serato Studio is now available as a one-off purchase, giving users free updates until Serato Studio 2.0, where most likely you'll have a discounted upgrade fee. Now, another new addition to 1.4 that you'll notice when you launch Serato Studio is the new onboarding process, which lets you choose between making a DJ edit or an original beat. Now, this onboarding feature is still a work in progress and will become much more sophisticated in the coming months, allowing users to essentially create a startup template. You'll be able to do things like select the default music genre, set other defaults to things like the BPM, having your favorite drum kit load every time you start Serato Studio, and even set your own default drum pattern genre. Now here's the best feature that we have been waiting for ourselves here at BPM Supreme, and that is the addition of audio tracks within Serato Studio. This is where that whole make a DJ edit prompt comes into play. You can now load a full song into Serato Studio for a super fast yet powerful way to make custom DJ edits of songs to better suit your DJ sets. This is something so many of us do here at BPM Supreme every single day, so this is a very much welcomed feature for us. Now, the audio track feature is also going to be extremely instrumental for those producers creating remixes, as this now makes it way easier to use vocal stems or acapellas. Before, you had to load a vocal stem into a sample deck and trigger it, which made it very difficult to align vocals that were long in length and maybe drifted out of sync over time. So let me just load this track here from my music library and let's take a quick look at how to create a custom DJ edit within Serato Studio using this new audio tracks feature. So now that I have my audio track loaded, there are three options to begin with. One of them being a newly added feature called Endless Slicer and I'll get to that in just a second. Now if this song is from your Serato DJ Pro library, you can take a look at any cue point you've set by selecting the Serato DJ option and clicking it. As you can see, all my pre-existing cue points I've set show up here and I can now use those cue points as edit markers by simply dragging the cue points down to the timeline in any order that I need. For instance, if I want my intro section here to play twice, then I'll drag the first cue point down here and then duplicate it. Now I can add my break cue point to play after the intro now plays two times instead of one. The other option for a brand new song that has no pre-existing cue points is to use the slicer mode in which we can add slices and designate how long we want each slice to be by selecting the appropriate length here to the right, such as an eight bar or 16 bar segment. And lastly is the brand new endless slicer mode. Now this is similar to the regular slicer mode, only difference is that you don't have to designate an endpoint to your slice, which means once triggered, it can play all the way to the end on its own. Essentially, Endless Slicer is like a sampler's one-shot mode, where you just trigger it once and it plays the audio all the way to the end. Now the Endless Slicer option has also been added into the sampler deck, which will again make working with longer audio loops much easier in version 1.4 of Serato Studio. Okay, so I've added in all my slices for this song. And one other really cool thing is that you can also have scenes from Studio Sequencer that play alongside your DJ edit. This makes it super fast to create redrums or adding custom drum intros to songs that maybe start instantly with just the vocal. As you can see, I created a simple sequence with some straight 808 claps and used a piece of the original song as a sample to trigger that vocal shout. Now I can simply add the scene to the beginning of my track and then follow that up with the order I want my slices to play. Once I'm done, I can now simply export my new DJ edit of this song. 
This is basically a much more advanced version of Serato DJ Pro's flip function with way more editing and production capabilities that get rendered to an actual file. Now here's a list of the other improvements within Serato Studio 1.4. Improved mute solo interface. Solo is now a dedicated button next to the mute within the sequencer. First cue point is now set on the downbeat. Serato Studio will instantly find and set a cue point on the first downbeat of a track. Free trial reset. All trials have been reset in Serato Studio, which means anyone who has already used their 14 day free trial can now try Serato Studio 1.4 for another 14 days absolutely free. One thing worth noting is that Serato has actively released monthly updates since Studio first launched. So some new features that were added prior to 1.4 included beat grid editing, which allows you now to perfectly sync samples to your project, new effects, which included the breaker effect from Serato DJ Pro, and the highly requested sidechaining effect. Support for additional DJ hardware with much more to come, and lots of new sound packs for both subscribers and freebies for those using a trial version. For more information, make sure you head on over to Serato to download the latest 1.4 Studio update. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button below so that you're always up to date with everything that is BPM Supreme. My name is Mike Acosta from BPM Supreme, and I'll catch you in the next video.